windswept sidewalks of South Gilmore Street, the scene of Baltimore's first homicide. Police say 33-year-old William Paul Anthony was shot and killed in an apparent robbery attempt. Ironically, while we were covering this shooting, the tan car, the a bystander told an officer about another shooting taking place just eight blocks away. The gentleman was just shooting at someone on, on Fulton Avenue. This situation unfolded right in front of us, beginning on the 1300 block of James Street. Which way did he go? Was he walking? Yeah. It's like everybody out here has a gun, even the little kids have one. Clean this neighborhood out. We need it. All these drugs in here. Yeah, you got the registered owner. I don't know if he was driving or not yet. Police apprehended 48-year-old Donald Robert Greer at his home in the 1300 block of James Street. Where's your car, man? There's one up here and there's one around here. How did cops know that the suspect in a shooting on Pulaski lives here? She was on the scene when uh, we rolled up. The suspect left his driver's license behind on the ground, along with the spent 32 caliber rounds. Police don't have a motive yet, but they found Greer's car, they say, with unspent rounds of the same caliber bullets you see here. What you don't see is how close 10-year-old Tori Geddes and his cousin, 7-year-old Terry Barton, were to becoming the next murder victims of 1999. They were playing upstairs in their home when they heard gunshots and the breaking of glass in their downstairs living room. What do you think could happen if you and your brothers were playing down here? We would have got shot. In West Baltimore, Sherry Jones, Fox 45, News at 10.